Hello guys, Middleton Plays here, and welcome to part two of my reshade tutorial. So I hope everyone is doing all right today. If you are not, then I hope tomorrow will be better for you. So, this in this video, I will be showing you how you install presets um, for your reshade um, for your Sims 4 game, of course. <laughs> um, so I was. Well, I mean, I guess for, like, starters and all that, I mean, I think, um, if you all know Jen, um, ex-Urban Sims, um, I actually used her preset for quite a while, for a few months, um, but then I started using a different one. Um, but this, I definitely would recommend, um, this one that Jen had created. Um, so it is the... Leo um, preset and I'll just quickly show you kind of like the differences so with this preset this is what EA's lighting looks like and then when you have this preset installed it will look like that so you can definitely see a difference um, and now onto this one so EA's lighting and then this is what the game looks like when you've got the preset installed so you can definitely see it looks so much brighter i don't know just so much so much better in my opinion because that just just looks dull to me <laughs> um so basically what you do um uh, for this i'm of course going to do non-ad fly um but of course if you guys want to support jen then make sure you press this one um so i'm going to do this there we go and if it does say this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep urban sims leo um, blah 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 anyway um, keep I promise you that this file will not damage or harm your computer at all um, it's just kind of one of those warning things but I, I promise you <laughs> that your your computer won't get harmed by it um, so as you can see um, it is now in my downloads folder so let me just make this a little smaller there we go so basically what you do on how you basically install presets are to go um, so you go to this PC and you have to go back to your Sims 4 folder um, on whichever drive you've got your Sims 4 game installed on. Um, so of course, as you guys know, um, if you've seen the previous part, my Sims 4 game is installed on my SSD drive. So um, to do this, I click SSD, Program Files, x86, go down to Origin Games, The Sims 4, Game, Bin, and there we go. So as you can see, I already have the preset there because of course I do already have it installed on my game. Um, but uh, basically on how you install this is all you need to do is to drag this to this folder and of course I'll replace it. And that's that's seriously all you need to do when, when downloading presets and all that. You just basically drag it into the bin folder and there we go it's actually installed so let me go on to my game and I'll show you how you enable it okay so to enable Jen's um, pre well reshade presets you press shift F2 and then at the top here um, of course wherever you've installed the presets to um, of course I do have free um, I don't actually use that one so I, I do need to uninstall that um, but yeah, you basically click on the preset you've installed, of course, Urban Sims, and there we go. That's now enabled. Okay, um, guys, so I'm now in game. Um, this is basically what the game looks like without um, the reshade preset enabled. Um, but, of course, to enable it, you go back to here, press that. And this is what your game will actually look like. As you can see, the game has brightened up. Um, and I don't know, it just it just looks so much better than it previously did, in my opinion. But yeah, let me just quickly show you again. So this is without the reshade. And then this is with the preset. There we go. <laughs> so you can definitely see a difference. Um, well, a great difference. Um... 
But yeah, I would so recommend this for you guys. I mean, the ones that I would recommend for you to install are, of course, Urban Sims Leo or the... Uh, I don't know how you say the name. Zistor? Zistel? I'm, I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, well, basically, Zistel's Bright preset, which I actually currently use. As you can see, so this is Jen's, and then this is um, Zistor's. There you go. You can definitely see a difference. Um, and I, I've rec I mean, I didn't like it before because I thought it was too bright. Um, but now, as I've got used to it, I just, I just absolutely love it. <laughs> um, so yeah. So of course, if you want to download this preset as well, then of course I will put the link in the description for you guys but, to um, uninstall these. I don't know if there's a reshade you downloaded to check it out and you've gone into game, you, you're not a big fan of it and you of course you want to delete it, all you need to do is select which one you want to delete, of course I was planning on deleting this one anyway, you just click on it, press delete, there we go, so that now that's been uninstalled from your game. Um, and that's it, basically. <laughs> um, so I hope this tutorial was um, helpful for you guys. Um, of course, if there are any questions um, or problems that you are having, and of course you want me to answer or help you out, then please comment, and I'll make sure to comment to you guys. Um, I, I always try my best <laughs> with trying to get to um, comments and all that when you're asking for help. Um, and of course, part three will be on how you, of course, take screenshots. So yeah, so please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye, guys.